today my plan is to tackle the uh, gas gauge and why it's not working and to do that I needed to be able to get to the sending unit and uh, ground the lead and see if it makes the gas gauge go up and uh, but I'm sure that the sending unit is stuck I went in here this was all full of crud I thought I was gonna have to drop the tank to get to it um, but uh, I cleaned all this out, found my brother-in-law's 35-year-old uh, photomat preferred customer card back here. It was expired, uh, so it's not going to do me any good. But uh, then I found this cover, and removing it, you're into the top of the tank. So I should be able to clean this up. As you can see, it's pretty disgusting. Uh, but I'll clean this up and then I'll make that quick electrical check on uh, the gauge itself and move on to the next step okay here comes the moment of truth looking at the fuel gauge here we turn on the ignition and ground the wire Hang on a second. Ground the wire that goes to the fuel tank. Uh, I didn't get ground. Okay, right now the fuel gauge reads permanently empty try and keep these reflections off of it. I've turned the ignition on and I'm going to apply a ground to the gauge and voila the gauge works which is good news because I thought of the two of the sending unit and the gauge the sending unit would probably be more readily available maybe even repairable okay the top of the tank cleaned up nicely and here we can see the sending unit and the tank vent and the pickup tube not sure which is which I think this uh, the one towards the rear here is the pickup tube and this must be the vent but uh, at any rate right now I'm gonna since I've determined that the gas gauge is working and the wiring to the sending unit is good I'm gonna go ahead and pull this sending unit out of here and see what's going on with it Okay, here it is. Uh, the sending unit is out of the car, and as you can see, it's got a lot of rust on it. And I think it's frozen in the empty position. I haven't really had a chance yet to mess with it, but uh, it doesn't look too bad. I bet you I can make this thing work. I'm going to have a shot at it. What's going on down in there? I have to get a match and take a look at it. Just kidding. Okay, I have um gotten this thing farther apart. I got the pickup tube out and it's pretty straightforward except for the fact that it had this um, filtration system on the end of it. It's a piece of fine metal mesh like you see in fuel filters. Um, keep from picking up bugs and gravel and stuff like that. But this one's all torn up. It was initially soldered or glued or something to the tube. But um, we're going to do without and just depend on the filtration up under the hood. The um, 
I have drained the tank. I pulled the drain plug out. It's the same type drain plug that's in the differentials, uh, which translates to hard to get out. And uh, there was a lot of uh, very fine rust in the bottom. You can see the fluid from it. Uh, I put a rag on a stick and washed it around inside there to try and get the loose rust off the bottom of the tank. I really don't want to take the tank out of the car if I can help it. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is flush it out with water uh, and look around inside it and see if there's anything that needs uh, picking up out of there. But uh, I, I tried to order a sending unit and something else. Uh, what else was I ordering? I tried to order something from uh, Rover Parts today and uh, I was able to select the parts and put them in my basket but when I tried to buy them, oops, servers down uh, because I think their server is out in California which is on fire. So I may have to wait till early next week or even later to get these parts. Uh, Nobody uh, had this pickup tube with the filter on it at a reasonable price. There was some NOS stuff out there that uh, was like 75 pounds coming from England. And so you're talking about $115, $120. And I figured just to get that screen back on there, it's really not worth it.